Qualcomm has unveiled the latest generation of its new premium mobile chipset here at its second annual tech conference in Hawaii today. And I'm holding it right here. This teeny tiny little thing has the same 10 nanometer footprint as its predecessor, the Snapdragon 835. But it features what Qualcomm is calling revamped architecture. And boy, is there a lot to unpack. Qualcomm says it worked on five key areas for the Snapdragon 845, and they are immersion, AI, security, connectivity, and performance. Now let's start with immersion, which basically means capturing and rendering the world around you at really high resolution and quality so you can immerse yourself in a realistic environment. Now the Snapdragon 835 already could display 4K HDR content, and the Snapdragon 845 takes that one step further by allowing smartphone cameras to record video at 4K in HDR. What that means is that the videos you take will have much more colors and more depth than before. Snapdragon 845 will also bring about better low-light photos because it can capture so much more data for use in noise reduction. Immersion, of course, is not just about capturing more realistic content, it's also about reproducing it. For Qualcomm, this means extended reality will get some benefits from Snapdragon 845, and one of them is better tracking so that you can move more freely in your simulated environment. The Snapdragon 845 will also come with adrenophoviation, which basically concentrates graphics resources around what you're looking at and de-emphasizes what's in the periphery, so it relieves some of that processing load. The next pillar is everyone's favorite buzzword, AI. The Snapdragon 845 is actually engineered to better handle AI processes by focusing on core optimizations. This means that the processor will assign tasks to different cores on the board to execute based on the type of power is needed. Developers will also have more control over chip resources, whether it's a GPU, CPU, or DSP. With this, Qualcomm says the Snapdragon 845 can perform AI tasks three times faster than its predecessor. Snapdragon 845 will be compatible with a variety of popular AI frameworks like TensorFlow, Cafe2, as well as the newer Onyx. The chip will also enable AI features in photography like video style transfer, artificial bokeh effects with single cameras, as well as face recognition and unlock. If these features sound familiar, it's because they're already on the iPhone. Moving on, the next pillar here is a really important one, and it's security. Qualcomm added a so-called secure processing unit to the Snapdragon 845, which has its own processor, memory, and power island to defend against attacks. Qualcomm called this a vault, and it's basically a silo that protects your biometric information. That's stuff like your fingerprint, your iris, or your face authentication data. The next key area of focus is actually one of Qualcomm's core strengths, and it is connectivity. The Snapdragon 845 will feature the company's second-generation Gigabit LTE modem called the X20. It's supposed to improve peak and real-world speeds by 20% over the Snapdragon 835. By supporting five-carrier aggregation as well as opening up access to unlicensed spectrum, Qualcomm says the Snapdragon 845 can achieve speeds of 1.2 gigabits per second. That's a download of a two-hour video in two minutes or less. And finally, performance. The Snapdragon 845, of course, is faster than its predecessor, but by how much? According to Qualcomm, that's about 25 to 30% of a speed improvement, as well as a 30% power consumption improvement. That means your phones that are using the 845 will last longer and be faster than 835 powered phones. But of course, that's to be expected. Of course, how actual devices implement these will depend on smartphone makers like Samsung, Sony, and LG who end up using the Snapdragon 845 in next year's flagship mobile phones. But we kind of have an idea theoretically of how these will work. It's also important to note that the Snapdragon 845 is not just a chip designed for smartphones. It'll also power things like Windows on Snapdragon PCs for the always connected PC platform that Microsoft and Qualcomm teamed up on. We also saw demos here at the event of the Snapdragon 845 powering things like reference designs for smart speakers or virtual reality headsets. So really, there's a lot of unexplored territory right here. We'll hopefully see some of these Snapdragon 845 powered devices at CES, which is happening in a matter of weeks. So stay tuned to Engadget.com for all of the news.